Lesson for you guys today in this short is if you're interested in printing PVA filament as a supporting material for your PLA or PETG print, a um, couple of takeaways that I want to share really quick in this short video, okay? I also have a long full length video that's gonna be coming out, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for my uh, actual experiment printing with PVA and PLA, okay? So the first tip I want to share with you guys is, yes, you absolutely, just like any other filament, you absolutely necessary to do a K value, which is flow dynamics. That's what Bamboo call them, flow dynamics calculation for your PVA material. Um, if you don't do this, it's gonna it's gonna mess up your actual print because the tower, the prime tower, it's gonna make it's gonna be messy, and also the supporting structure you're gonna you're gonna be printing out for your actual model is also gonna be messy. So I did experiment this before I calibrated it. And uh, this is the first thing you need to do, which is the flow dynamics calculation, the K values. The second thing you need to do is, besides that, you need to do flow rate calibration. As you can see, I have a couple of flow rate blocks printed out. Um, choose the best block that has the smooth at the surface, because this is also important when you print with PV as a supporting material. So here's a quick example. This is what the back of this model that looks like where it was supported by the PVA material. As you can see, it's it's quite rough, okay? Quite rough. So after I do this, I'm gonna be pretty certain that the connecting area, the Z offset, once set to zero, the connecting area is gonna be as smooth as possible. So my model is gonna, my model quality, or at least, at least surface quality is gonna be improved quite a lot with a PVA material. The third tip is once you print it with both PVA and PLA, soak them in water for at least a whole day. That will completely dissolve the PVA material, which is a pretty magical process, okay? Before this thing was filled with like a huge chunk of PVA, after dissolving, it looks like this. There's no sight of PVA. Um, in this print. And also intricate details are preserved really nicely, this little icon, okay? So that's all the three tips I wanna share with this shorts. Subscribe and hit like if you found this video helpful. Otherwise, happy printing and ask questions in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer for you guys.